Hi everybody, today I want to speak about the story of the Magic Frogs. This person is the John Jack Mark and his brother August. John, uh, John Jack Mark was born on 27th of October in 1864 and uh, when he was 14 years old he left home. He worked in the construction as, as a machine on the steam engine. Okay? After that, this was a magic idea in his mind and with his brother Augustus, he opened the carriage and the wagon sail and repair shop. This company was the name was Forestin and the Berry in the Brooklyn in 1893. And later, his three brothers joined in the business. The business started to grow and to grow, started to grow and to grow. And the first successful vehicle was the bus. As you see in the photo, this bus with the 40 horsepower can carry 20 passengers. And uh, as you see in the photo, the first truck was produced in 1980s. As you see in the photo, it was called Five Ton Truck. Okay? That time the company name was Manhattan Motor Truck Company. Okay? And later the company changed to the Mac Company. In the first of 20th century, in 1970s, okay? They produced seven to model, but with a different type of TVLs. Okay? And uh, later, the wheels changed and every day developed the, the cabins and the wheels and also the power of the truck. Okay? And uh, they start. They started to make a contract with the the big companies and the army. For example, they started to, started to make a contract with the oil company, as you see in the photo, uh, Mac AB Dump. This type of the uh, Mac blanks to the AB category, and uh, the first. Available was 1970s. Okay. This type of the trucks available in one and two tones, but they have they had a three speed transmission and with four cylinder engine. Horsepower was around 30 horsepower and the speed around 15 mph. Okay? That time was very big successfulty for the Mac truck company because they they sold around two hundred thousand trucks in during two or three years, and uh, the AB category was manufactured from the nineteen fourteen to nineteen thirty six. Okay, as you see in the photo, I show the other category of the AB Mac trucks. As you see here, this type of this model is between one and a half and two and a half tones. It has a four cylinder, which I mentioned, with a 34 power engine. Also, Mac company. 
in early 20th century started to produce different type of the bus for example school bus and the city bus and the, usually the first category of the bus was the AB model as you see in this photo after AB Mac produced AC category between the 1916 to the 1938 as you see in the photo the wheels and the cabin was developed and the power of the car also, the truck also increased and usually the, this car these trucks were, uh, were 10 tons and uh, they had a mounted radiator 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 uh, which improved forward visibility of the driver as you see the cabin and the visibility of the uh, driver was changed later uh, in the A category they produced Mac AK later trucks in 90 for example 26 and uh, it, it was 60 horsepower Mac engine it was very strong compared to that time as you see in this photo they produce different type and different forms of the this type of trucks also in the history the Mac has a powerful effect and most important effect in the army and uh, in the A category Mac produced AP super duty trucks which used in the army that time. Now, after the A model category, Mark start to B model category. The B model had a 10 difference gasoline engine from 291 cubes in the 4.8 liter with 107 horsepower. Okay. Okay, in the B20 to the 707 cube uh, with the 232 horsepower in the B70. This type of the model was very powerful compared to the A model. And as you see in the photo, in the models they, st they produced several types of the B models. As you see, B20, 30 and the also the type of the engine okay in the, it, it started to develop because of the displacement and the type of the model and the horsepower usually uh, increase compared to the also types for example from the B category uh, as you see between the 100 and the 335 they increase the uh, horsepower as you see here it is a big B category auto as you see Mike BL which produced between the 9 to 27 and the 39 it was with four cylinder with a 57 to 128 horsepower engine with a different type of the engine the first uh, they started to produce the 57 horsepower and the later with 128 horsepower engine as you see it is a B category with the Mac PG 19 between the 9 to 27s and the 39s the main goal of the factory to increase horsepower and speed and the power and also they produce some Mac trucks for the carrying of the animals for example here as you see it's a Mach PM SW it's a small tracks for the carrying of horse later they produce Mach B61 between the 1953s thirds and the 60, 66 
this type of the this type of the trucks was very successful in that time. As you hear here, they produce uh, different type of the categories in the B model. For example, here in this photo you see Mac B77, which produced between 1958 and 64s. Later they produced, for example, Mac B87 SX. It was very really powerful trucks for the carrying of heavy materials and, for example, tanks or army vehicles and many things. In the Second World War, the Mack trucks used in the army, for example, in the United States and the United Kingdom. And the Mack D category, also you can see this photo. The cabin was with, with the metal, it was very powerful. It produced between 1964 to the 87. As you see, the different type of the model later, for example, Mike LF model produced between 1940 to 53. And also Mack company started to produce heavy Mack truck company which work we can come work in the mine. For example, Mack LRSW which produced between 1947 and 53. And work in the mines and transport large stones. As you see in this photo, Mack M50 which produced between 1964 to the 79th. Oh, and also, Mac produced different type of the model for the mixture. As you know, in the nine, early, in middle the in 20th century, okay, the building house and uh, was very developed, and the Mac H80 mixture which produced between 1953 and 62. Mac started to produce Mac G series between 1959 and 62. This type of the drugs was the new model, okay, uh, which without nails in the front. They have mod the model Macs which uh, they produce with a different type of the engine was a diesel and the horsepower was between 250 and 350 okay and uh, it was new category in that time as you see it is a one of the Mark F model it is F700 which produced between the 1962 to the 79th or Mac F700 which produced the same time 1962 to the 79th and also Mac produced a different type of the category for example L, R and this type of the category which uh, had a higher horsepower and uh, usually the horsepower was around 300 for example, Mark Air 700. And later, Mark produced MH19 between 1982 to the 1990. And this type of the trucks was uh, very powerful. And also, they produced a new type of the mixture. For example, Mark RD 600 mixture between the 990 and the 2004s. And
and they produce the different type of the M model for the using in the uh, house making and building and uh, in the early 20 one century they produced mag magnum it was very powerful and also they produced mac granite this type of this is the same uh, it is a series of heavy heavy trucks okay it has a very low profit hoods and high visibility cap and this is uh, uh, this this car was very uh, powerful also, they produce the Mac RW between 1977 to 1994 with very big cabin. This type of the car also was very powerful. As you see later, they produce Mac Pencil. This type of the car was very powerful with a new engine which called Mac MP8. Okay, as you see here, Mac Quantum, which put it between the 1996 to the 2006, or the new model, Mac Super Light 2007, with different cabins, different engine, and the different powers. As you see here, for example, Mac Titan Dump. Which produced uh, from 2009 or Mac Trident Axel Forward 2008 and uh, also we can see Mac Vision 64 from the 2000 but the engine was different because the Mac produced uh, different type of the engine they produce Mac MP7 engine. Okay, it's the horsepower was between 325 to 434, but the MP8 engine was the bigger and the horsepower was between the 434 to the 500 horsepower. But they produced a different type of the engine, for example, Cummins ISL9. Okay, which is a higher. Uh, with a six cylinder with uh, five 350 horsepower uh, and with it also Mac AMA the different type of the engine which they produce for example it is a old engine power uh, which from the Mac ENF 707B category it is a thermodyne and uh, the horsepower was around 225 or the, the other model was Mac EN 438 which the horsepower was around 160 and it is a new model as you see the later model Maxidine which produced in 1967 it has a horsepower near 237 or 1973's Maxidine 300 series Mac engine which which had a, which had the intercooler and the horsepower was 285 and uh, later the new model Mac MP10 okay between 600 to 685 horsepower and you see the symbols of the Mac company and you see that in the different years they had a different uh, Bulldogs as you see here original form and the current it has a this shape and the early 1932 1965 and 1970 
nine they change the shape of the symbol and thank you very much i hope it is good i'll see you later